Hello again and welcome to this crush yoga video. My name is Ria. This short video will be all about core, back and abs. So uh, this is what we're going to work out. Of course, we're going to do a little bit of movement with our uh, thighs and everything, but it will be mainly uh, that the uh, core area we're going to work with. And this is Christ-centered yoga. So I just want to start this small session with a prayer. So if you want to pray with me. God, thank you for this opportunity to stay on the mat, working out uh, also before you. Thank you that you don't just listen to our prayers as we are in the church or reading your Bible, but you listen to us and see us also when we're sweating and waking out on the yoga mat. God, may your perspective on things dwell in our hearts and may your life live in us and may you be the strength in our core will you be before us behind us on your on our left and right side thank you jesus amen so just a little bit of movement before we start working out more right hand on your left side Give yourself a tiny twist. Inhale and move to the other side. Exhale, finding your twist. Tall spine and move with your breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, going a bit deeper into a stretch without overdoing it. Still warming up. So the warming up of our bodies are pretty important as uh, this is a way of heating or warming our muscles and our tendons and all that. So we don't get uh, or try to avoid injuries. So this is why we want to warm up, especially twists is good. And coming back. Back to center. Take a hold of your knees if you're sitting like me. And on your exhale, move your spine away from me. Out your back and inhale the other way, sitting cat cow. And exhale, moving back. Try to experience with your sitting bones how much movement you can actually do on your sitting bones. Now, as we do this a couple of more times, maybe you want to engage your shoulders a little bit more. You can even put your hands out and inhale, arms out. We're going to have some plank postures in this video. Please don't quit the video because of this. <laughs> Open up your shoulders and closing your shoulders. One last time. Inhale and exhale. And of course, no yoga video whatsoever without downward facing dog. It's a good posture just to open up our our hips and everything now from here come into plank pose inhale and exhale downward facing dog again inhale downward facing uh, <laughs> plank and back inhale plank Exhale, downward facing dog. Now try to feel how downward facing dog is much more relaxing <laughs> than your plank pose. Coming into plank pose and stay here. Now maybe you want to go down on your knees. Maybe if you have elbows or sorry uh, wrist issues you want to go down your elbows like this so there's all sorts of options for you so you can always do this but please stay here your abs you want to really engage those abs quads as well and breathe spread out your fingers stay here a few more breaths downward facing dog awesome now we're gonna lay down our mats because this is pretty warm. I wanna have this on my mattress as well. 
So come down on your belly. Just a few things into our, our backside. So inhale, lift up. And exhale, lower down. Now you want to lift your knees and your feet off the mat. Inhale and exhale. As you lift your arms as well, make sure your shoulders are not lifted towards your ears. One last time. And then some cactus hands as well. Inhale, coming up, squeezing shoulder blades together. Exhale down. Five times more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. One last time. Come on. Use your back here. And come down. Excellent. Moving on to our core. So coming on to our back. Lower down. Bend your knees. Take your hands behind your head. Now this is a traditional pose or exercise. Uh, also in strength classes, but it's still good here as well. Left elbow moves towards your right knee. Now see how I extend the other leg. Inhale, coming up. My head is always lifts the shoulders away from mat. So this is a, we call it bicycle in Danish. Don't know what you call it. But try to exhale as you come out to the side. Inhale as you come back. Exhale. You want to go as far in your um, twist as you can, lifting up. Make sure you don't pull your head. You're just kind of helping your, your neck, lifting your head. So coming up, squeezing back. Exhale. Four more to go, okay? Four. Three. Lift and engage that core. Two. And one. Stay with your legs lifted. Maybe you want to support your lower back. Straighten out your legs towards the sky. And then lower down left or right uh, leg down. And move it back up again. So maybe on your exhale, lower then left down. Inhale, coming back. Right, coming down. Now you want to engage your core so much that your lower back is always in touch with your mat. You don't want to arch your back, okay? Straighten out your leg. If you want to have a more advanced uh, version of this, instead of having your legs lifted all the way to the ceiling or the sky, you start your position here. And even going further, stretching out, lifting up your front here. You have a flat tension in your belly. Almost there. And release, feet down on your mat. Take a deep breath and side it out. Getting once again, this time into our, our abs, lower abs. Cross your legs up, lift your glutes just a tiny bit from the mat and then twist them from side to side. Again, if you want to advance it more, you can lift up your head. Now we're lifting up your head a whole lot, so maybe you'll feel like it's hurting your back or your neck. Then don't do it. <laughs> Small twist, not too fast. On a few more times. This is really getting. Uh, maybe it, it aches down in your uh, lower abs. Keep at it. I'm counting down five, four. Come on, go three, two, and one. Ah, awesome. Now both feet on the ground. Now into our back instead. Knees and feet hip width apart, and then lift up your 
glutes from the mat, engaging your lower back. Now this, a lot of us can do, we can also move our glutes down and up. Now if you want to get a more uh, advanced version of this, you can lift up your right leg and then go down for five. Lifting up. Now if your left leg, right leg is lifted, your left glutes will have a hard time. Four. Three, pushing through the heel. Two. And one. Coming down, rolling your way back, hugging your knees just for a second or two, releasing, letting go again. Lifting up your hip area one more time. Now, now again, please continue just lifting or lowering and lifting, or your left leg comes up for five. So five, four, three, two, and try to lift, not just halfway, all the way, one last time, two, and lower down. Again, small stretch on your lower back. And of course, no yoga for abs without the good old boat pose. So let's get into that easier version, heels down on your mat. Now let's just sit like this because it's gonna add on a little bit more. So I call this boat, but maybe we can also have a flat boat. So slowly come down, try to see if you can kind of float on your mat and then use your abs and lift up again. This is not an option for you, just stay here with boat pose. Okay, coming down, straighten out, cheek toward chest and up again. Maybe you can follow your breath. Exhale and inhale. A little bit more. Now if you can't breathe out your nose, please use your mouth, okay? The important thing is that we breathe two more times. This is pretty, pretty intensive. And then coming up, ah, resting pose. Take your heels here, sitting bones on the mat, arms out. Maybe I'll just move this way around so you'll be able to see me better. Take your arms out to your right side and lean a little bit backwards. Inhale, arms come up like you're rowing a canoe, left side. Inhale, arms up and exhale. Now we don't want to roll or arch our back, so we wouldn't want to sit like this. So as we twist, squeeze your shoulder blades together and engage your core as much as possible. A couple more times. If you have had injuries in your lower back and you're not really that strong yet, maybe you don't come as, as far back as I do here. Are you ready? Last four. Come on. Out four. Three. Two. You can do it. Come on. Lift up. Use those abs. One last time. Resting. Coming onto our bellies once again. So the last posture for our back and then a few more abs and then we are done. So this is also kind of yoga posture. Lift up your legs away, maybe you point your toes together to engage your inner glutes or uh, thighs. Take a hold of your hands, fold your hands together, squeeze shoulder blades together and just, just stay here. And breathe, lifting up. And if this is not enough for you, one more exercise, arms out to the side, and then do some small movements here, like you're trying to fly with your wings, small wings. And let go. Wow, I'm sweating here on my mat. 
Now elbows down your mat. If you want to fold your mat a few more times to have a little more cushion on your elbows, that's of course what you can do. Now start down here. And then coming from here up to your arms, up here, and then lower down your elbows again. Now you can definitely do this on your knees. So please do that version that you prefer coming down. Now we don't want to lift our back. This is way easier doing like this. No way like that. Not here, sacking our back. Trying to engage your core and take that version of this posture that is actually the most difficult one. And you just breathe whatever you feel like you need to breathe. And then if you've started lifting up on your right arm, maybe you use your left arm. Great. Down on your knees. Maybe you take a, a small break. Side plank is always a tough one, but let's try it out. Right elbow or the one that faces towards me. On the mat, coming down on your knees or your feet, standing here. Now elbows we want to have directly on our shoulder. Lift up the hip area. Again, don't want to sag it. And find that posture that is the most difficult one as you breathe, as you squeeze your abs, as you lift your hip. Praise God. <laughs> this is awesome. Woo. Coming back. Great. Finding the other way. Now that we're here, we might as well just finish it up. Come on, lift. Engage that shoulder. Don't sag on the shoulder. Either lift up like you're trying to make a big hole with your elbows on your mat. And release. Ooh, a few last abs, abby things, and <laughs> then we're done. Again, head, hands between your, uh, your head. And then I call this um, squeezing together. So toes on the mat, lifting up, making those shoulders, oh, sorry, those abs very short as you lift up and very long as you open up. So this tension is what works our abs. Now here we want to go with our breath. So exhale as you pull up, make those muscles short, and inhale to so straighten out. If you want to go for a more advanced posture, straighten out those legs. Make sure your elbows are not <laughs> Side of your gaze out to the side. I keep reminding myself also. Three more times. You're doing good. Come on. Awesome. And just come down, resting for a few breaths. Now, I'm sure you've been so much engaged in your core that you can just relax. And just meditate maybe for a few minutes. If you like coming up to see the posture, I'll finish our small exercise here with a prayer. So God, thank you for being able to work our core and our abs. And maybe, just maybe having a little fun while doing it. God, I pray that you will give us all health. You will give us to eat nutritious and with every movement and everything that we do, worship you and honor you and the people around us. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Have an awesome day. Bye.